And we were warning about this as soon as the leak of the Supreme Court draft opinion happened. It was meant to create an environment of tremendous pressure, an environment really of fear for the conservative justices on the court, the idea being that there would be so much fury and rage out there that none of the justices who were going to overturn Roe v. Wade would feel like their personal and their family's safety was guaranteed anymore. So this is something that we were concerned about on the right from the very beginning. And sure enough, those concerns have proven to be all too real. Uh, Washington Post put out a story on the would-be Kavanaugh assassin that had some details. A California man carrying at least one weapon, by the way, it was a pistol, it was also a knife, it was also a crowbar, zip ties, near Brett Kavanaugh's Maryland home has been taken into custody by police after telling officers he wanted to kill the Supreme Court justice. The man, described as being in his mid-20s, was found to be carrying a weapon, burglary tools, uh, and people speaking on the condition of an anonymity, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so they found a guy near Kavanaugh's home who says he wanted to kill Justice Kavanaugh because of Roe v. Wade, obviously, who had burglary tools, who had zip ties, perhaps to take hostages uh, of Kavanaugh's family members, who had a pistol on him, um, and who was wearing a tactical vest. So this is a terrifying lunatic, obviously. This is somebody who has to be taken seriously and has been taken into custody and is being charged with attempted, uh, attempted murder. So this, though, doesn't just come out of nowhere. It comes in specific response to left-wing attempts to undermine the safety of conservative, not all judges, just conservative justices on the Supreme Court. And people are furious about this because there have been protests that, in violation of clear federal statute, have been allowed to happen at the homes of judges like Kavanaugh. This is a violation of federal law. People should be absolutely furious that this has been allowed to happen. And DOJ's Merrick Garland, the attorney general, responded today. And this is what he had to say. So this kind of behavior is obviously is behavior that we will not tolerate. Threats of violence and actual violence against the justices, of course, strike at the heart of our democracy, and we will do everything we can to prevent them and to hold people who do them accountable. For that reason, last month, I accelerated uh, the protection of all the justices' residences 24-7. Also last month, I met with the marshal of the court. I, I, I uh, convened a meeting with her as well as with the deputy director of the FBI, with the director of the Marshal Service, um, and with our own uh, law enforcement, our own uh, prosecutors, to ensure every degree of protection available as possible. Okay, what about the protests at the homes of judges in violation of federal law? Meant to intimidate members of the judiciary. That, you protest at somebody's private home to frighten them and their wives or their husbands and their children. That's why these left-wing activists are doing it. By the way, the group Ruth sent us has already put out a tweet saying that they will tonight, after an attempted, or rather a would-be assassin of Justice Kavanaugh was taken into custody, the group left-wing radical pro-abortion lunatics, Ruth sent us, says that they're going to be back at Kavanaugh's house protesting. 